What's up, my people? It's Slim Cutter. I'm back with Cutter's Closet, episode 15. And this basically is the follow-up to my last video that I just did, uh, the casual edition. And basically, I was doing this to... Uh, this will put y'all up on game about when you start getting older, man. You gotta gotta start switching up the floor a little bit. You know what I mean? So um, I wanted to show y'all a couple of the blazers that I got to go with the chinos that I was showing y'all in my last video. But first of all, I told I told y'all in my first, in the last video in uh, episode 14 that I had something special, and I forgot about it because I'm so fucking stressed. I've been stressed out because of my little brother, man. So um, I'm gonna. Matter of fact, I'm about to just go ahead and show it right now. So I present to y'all the 1980. It's from 88 to be exact. The 88 polo rugby or jersey polo sport. That is. This is the one that I had posted on my Instagram. But listen, my niggas, I did not pay $350 for this. I didn't pay for it at all. I'm about to get into that in a minute after I show it to you. So basically the fabric on this thing is like a, it's kind of like the feeler jersey, the feeler jacket. It's like a terry cloth type of thing going on. And it's real dope. It's buttoned up all the way. I haven't put it in the cleaners yet. But it's buttoned up. You got Polo Ralph Lauren Academy right here. The colors on it, it's like, that looks like a royal blue under the flash, but it's really not. It's a, uh... It's like a bright navy. Like, when I bag it up, like, that's the true color. It's not really a royal. You know what I mean? I've been thinking about getting them uh, low top 11s with the the, uh, the rubber bottom. I mean, not the, with the gummy bottom. The all blue 11s with the gummy bottom. I've been thinking about copping those with these for this. Or the Laney's. How about the Laney's? You know what I'm saying? But it's real dope. It got 67 on the sleeve. And I'm about to get into how I got this, man. Now, it was a, like a little stain on the back somewhere. Uh, like I said, I haven't put it in the clip. There it is. Like, yeah, it's like, I don't know what the hell that is. Like some juice or something. Anyway, but that's going to come right out. So, this is the infamous $350 jersey. 1988 Polo Ralph Lauren. I was mistaken. I said 87, but it's from 88. Look at the detail on that thing. Young Joe ain't even got this. Joe ain't got this. Trust me. He the polo king. I know he ain't got this. So anyway, it's real dope though. But I'm about to go drop this thing off in the cleaners. Uh, let me get into the story about how I got this, man. So, you know I fuck with my homies, everybody on Instagram. Y'all be sending me DMs and everything. And listen, when y'all sending me DMs, don't act like I'm a celebrity, man. I'm not no fucking celebrity. I'm not a star. You feel me? So when y'all send me a DM, don't be like, hey, sorry to bother you, or hey, I don't mean to, you know what I mean? None of that. Just be like, look, my nigga, I got this, or I cop that. I want you to check this out. You know what I mean? And we gonna rock like that. But, um, cause I told y'all I don't mind. Like, most, I don't be, I don't be busy at all. Most of the time I be out here, I'm out here riding around with the top down, speeding. I don't care, bro. Like, so, whatever you got, send it to me. I'll check it out. That's why I told y'all before I fuck with y'all, man. You know what I'm saying? That's why I do the videos. I ain't about to have y'all out here and fake shit. If you on eBay and you feel like something is uh, not authentic, man, just send that shit to me. I'm going to holler at you. So, but anyway, how I acquired this jersey. Oh, and it said medium. Polo Sport, it said a medium. But you know how, like, think some things back then, I guess, ran uh or ran bigger or they mistagged some stuff. It's like, now, nah, True Religion mistagged stuff all the time. I got some True Religion jeans that say like size uh 30 on them, but they really 36s, you know what I'm saying? So this was Miss Tad. It say medium, but it um dude told me it fit like extra large. And it does, so it's a good pickup. But anyway, how I acquired this, I was chilling. Uh, I don't know, I was playing 2K16 or whatever. This DM came through. I hit the DM. It's one of the homegirls off Instagram. I was like, damn, that's what's up. So she was like, she like, yeah, I watch your videos. I like to hear you talk. You know what I'm saying? I like word. That's real. She like, yeah, I fuck with your videos. I be watching them all the time. I love the way you talk. Matter of fact, cool. 
she was like, which one of them, this is back when I, I post, I just took the post down, but she was like, which one of them polo uh, uh, things you gonna get, jacket or the shirt, and I was like, shit, I ain't really about to pay 350 for the shirt or 450 for the jacket, you feel me, and uh, make a long story short, basically, she was like, well, I get you one, which one you want? That was the pause. Man, look. So I wanted to be extra petty and just reach and be like, go and get the jacket. The motherfucker jacket was 450. It's green, had the same kind of sign on it. Polo Ruff along with the basketball dude. So anyway, to make a long story short, man, she copped this motherfucker for me. She copped it. And uh I I, I was I told her I was gonna give her like a full fledged shout out. But you know, uh, she said, you know, don't send them niggas to my page. So, you know what I'm saying? So, shout out to uh, Miss Special Edition. That's the name that we come up with. So, shout out to Miss Special Edition. I know who you are. You know who you are. And I appreciate that, my baby. I appreciate the love. Uh, yeah. So, and, uh, you know, it's, it's nothing new. Like, Females like getting me stuff like ever since I was in high school, like all my little girlfriend, whatever girl I was dealing with, they always bought me something. But the situation surprised me, but her wanting to get it for me, I was like, okay, I, you know, that's that's cool. Like shit, I was like, yeah, go on cop that for me. It's 350? Go on cop that, you gonna cop that. And that's what happened. So that's how I got that. And I appreciate the love, and it is what it is. Now, to my subscribers, to all my homies, man, listen, stay away from the DM, man. The DM is the devil. I, I think I showed y'all some of them pictures I be getting in my DM sometime. I think I added y'all in a couple of them. Maybe the one, like, here recently, I got one where, you know, girl was fresh out the shower, dripping wet with the towel, with a booty out. You remember that? Did I tag y'all in that one? I be getting all kind of crazy ass pictures in my DM, man. Uh, motherfucker laying on the bed with her ass up Talking about when you making a new video The DM is the devil And I was with my wife when I opened up that shit I was in the car and I was like I opened it out I, I thought it was one of the homies I opened it out I was like oh I ain't said it out loud I said it in my mind like ah oh, damn what is this and My wife was like what is that I was like oh one of the homies asking about some polos Some trues it's all good You know what I'm saying like, God damn they be sitting there nigga some crazy shit man Anyway, let's get into the review. I wanted to show y'all, man. This is what I was talking about making that transition once you start getting a little bit older. You should start thinking about it in your late 20s, 27, 28, 29. You know what I mean? Start making that transition to have other things in your closet that's appropriate for different occasions. Not it only have to be for different occasions, just to rock. You know what I'm saying? Period. So we're going to start off with this one. And majority, I got all of these from the Goodwill. Except these two. I got these when I was up in the D. But all of these, that's what I was saying. When I go into the Goodwill, I pick up shit like this. And that's it. So this is a nice one. It's like it got like a tweed. I, I put them all in the cleaners. Do you see the cleaners bag down here? I threw all that shit. I put them all in the cleaners. It's 100% lamb's wool. It's dope. It's just got like a... It's got like a, you know, like a, I forgot what you call this. It's a name for this, this pattern. But it's, you know, it's like a checkered. But it's, a, it's, I think it's hound's tooth. Yeah, but this one is dope. And basically what I got is like, you gonna do it like that, you can do it like that. You see what I'm saying? Oh, you see what I'm saying? You see the brown suede on it? You see? I be on shit like this, man. I do this, man. So you gonna do it like that or with this one? Or with this one? I might, I might go ahead and cop the blue fedora to go with this one. Because that's like a blue with the burgundy and the tan in it. You feel me? So I might go ahead and do that. I'm going to cop a blue fedora. And this is uh, this is a Jackson fedora for those who might want to try those out. It's a Jackson fedora. This was only like 50 bucks. It got a 2 and a 3 8 brim on it. It's a nice size brim. And it's dope. So yeah. Um. I don't know. This is it says T Harris London. I'm not really familiar with the names of the, the blazers, you know what I'm saying? But I got some nice ones. This one is kind of nice. It got like the beige pinstripe in it in it. 
It's a whatever straw ink. I got them all out the cleaners, you know what I'm saying? Anything you get from the Goodwill, bro, throw that shit in the cleaners immediately. You know what I'm saying? I'm just straight rock nothing. I like this one because it was kind of, it's like kind of springish, kind of summery looking. Got that nice color going on. It's Canelli. It's nice. Made in Italy up here. You can't really see that, but made in Italy. Cop the blue one. I got a couple blue ones. I didn't pull the other ones out. This one kind of blue with the pinstripe thing going on up here. What the fuck is that? Oh no. Uh, Edward Saxton, all wool. It's all right. I got a few blue ones. I really don't like this one that much as much as I like the other blue ones. I got a yellow one, a yellow blazer. It's dope. I'm gonna do a video on that when I get it back. I took it to the alteration shop to get it fitted. I really like these ones with the hound's tooth print, like that. You know what I'm saying? They just feel it and that's like a it's like a thick wool on them. I just like these better. This is a Bullock and Jones or whatever that is. But yeah, I do I rock I rock the blazers, man. I do other things like this. This is a nice blue one. Just a regular blue. Uh I don't know what this is. This is Nautica. Wow. So like when I was in the store, I just I like the blue. I didn't I didn't peek that it was a nautical one, but it's nice. This kind of got like a satin feel to it, type of blazer feel. It's real nice too. So yeah, man. And I got these up in the D. I went to the hat store and got these. They have blazers. This is nice. I got this to go with the uh basically with the boulder hat or the skimmer hat. It's got the blue with the red on it. It's real nice. This is a uh, Delmonico. And it's fitted. It's custom fit. It's real dope. I'm gonna rock this one. It's lightweight too, so you can wear this like on a, a cool summer night. You know what I'm saying? Like maybe it'd be like 60 degrees at night. You can throw that one on and this one too, because they like they super lightweight. So this one is nice too. This one, it's the same thing. It's dope. And I think I'm gonna get like a blue fedora. Like this one. The brown one is cool too. It might go. But I think I'm going to get a navy blue fedora for this one right here. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, uh, one thing y'all probably didn't know is I cut my beard off. <laughs> Look. Yeah, bitch. And for the motherfuckers be making them me Talk about when you say your beard. You got Nestle Crunch under your shit. Ain't no Nestle Crunch on here, bitch. Ain't no, look, ain't no Nestle Crunch on here, bitch. Yeah, that's what you call that good melanin. That's what you call the good jeans right here. You know what I mean? Look, good melanin. You feel me? So I had to, I had to go ahead and get that up off my face. Uh, and that was mainly because I've been, I've been going back and forth, back and forth to Detroit flying. And how TSA do, how they did me was, before, look, before I, I didn't even get to the security checkpoint yet, I got to the, the woman where you give her your ID, and I gave her my ID, and she said my name loud as hell. She was like, Ahmad? And I was like, yeah, that's me, what's up? She immediately gave the, the flag, to, oh, come, come, you know what I'm saying? They pulled me over to the side. He's like, oh, asking me stupid ass questions, like, why is your name Ahmad? What made your mother name you Ahmad? I like how she Muslim, motherfucker. What made your mama name you Timmy? Fuck you mean? You know what I'm saying? So, basically, from Nashville, in Nashville, North Carolina, Philadelphia, Detroit, I got pulled over everywhere that I went, everywhere, as soon as I got to the airport. And it's like, I don't know if y'all knew this or not, but majority of the motherfuckers on the plane that blew up the 9-11 the buildings, they name was fucking Ahmad. Ahmad, Ahmed, Muhammad, Habib. You see what I mean? So I'm coming through the TSA. My name is Ahmad. I got a beard. That shit had to go. And they, they, then like, they was embarrassing me. Like, I'm, he pulled me over to the side talking about, take off your boots, sir. I'm like, dude, I got on Slim Chinos and some Vans. These not boots. And people in line whispering, like, I don't know, dear. They said his name is Ahmad Muhammad. I, I don't know. You know what I mean? 
So like when I when I had my layover in North Carolina, dude basically told me straight up, like, dude, your name is Ahmad, you have a beard, give me your backpack. You know what I'm saying? So that shit had to go. On top of that, I got tired of my face sweating, you know what I mean? So I cut the little beard off, man. So but yeah, man. Um but they only um uh, another thing is like I got like a a mental type thing going on that followed me all my life because my people took me to a psychologist when I was little. I just didn't fuck with nobody. When even when I was little, I ain't fuck with nobody, and they thought I was crazy. They was like, "Why he don't fuck with nobody?" Well, they took me to the psychiatrist and shit. So this shit follows you. Like I don't get no check or nothing. Like a really really crazy motherfucker. But if you go if you go to see a psychologist or shit like that, that shit follows you. So, like, you don't have to show motherfuckers your shit when you going state to state. But hold on. I think I'm fucking around. If you going out of the country, like I plan on going to Egypt. Look, I'm about to show all motherfuckers my information and shit. Look, you see this? I got to show this in my passport. My name, my face. Now, you see on the back of this motherfucker? Look. What the fuck does this say? Can y'all see that? Let me try and get it in on the flash super hard. You see? Mental health treatment. You see what I'm saying? I gotta have this shit in my passport if I'm leaving the country. State to state, I'm good. But, you know what I'm saying? And it's another thing I want to talk to y'all about. This passport right here. Look. I don't give a fuck what y'all do, my niggas. Go fuck if you working or if you hustling. You get money. If you got money laying around that's just to play with money. Three, four, five bands just sitting around and you just playing with it, money type that. Like, shit, today I might just go to the mall down type shit. My niggas, go see something. Hop on a plane and go somewhere and do your thing. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what I like to do. I've been to the UK, I've been to Thailand, I've been to Dubai, and I'm planning on going to Egypt. So, um, and that's what I'm about. Like, a lot of people don't like hitting planes, but I feel like. I'm like, shit, if the plane crashes, the plane crashes. It just is what it is. It was meant to happen like that. That's how I feel about this shit. So I just hop right on the motherfucker. Like, y'all, plane time. You see what I'm saying? But if you if you get money, you got money like that laying around, man, hop on a plane and go somewhere and go see something, man. Quit bullshitting. Because there's a lot of motherfuckers out here that never even been out, out they state. You know what I'm saying? But I'm all about kicking it and doing me like, Whatever I do, you know what I'm saying? Like, I be putting y'all up on game to help y'all niggas save money and shit. Like, but the money I be saving from shopping off eBay and shit like that and picking up little shit like this, you know what I'm saying? I be taking trips, man, or doing what the fuck I do. Like, I had to buy another 65, uh, 65 inch TV. Like, look at the fucking TV. Look in the closet. I, this is 65 inch TV. I fucking threw the remote. Homeboy, my wife, True Religion, boo. She thinks she be fly. But homeboy beat me online on 2K16. I threw the remote up on the motherfucking dresser and it hit the TV and cracked it. So, I had to go back out the same day and get another 65-inch TV because I'm getting money. So, and that's what I'm saying. With the money I saved from eBay... You know what I'm saying? You can do it. You know what I'm saying? Whatever, man. I'll be saving money off of that shit shopping off there. That's why I'll be putting y'all up on game. And I don't mind doing that. I fuck with y'all, man. Y'all my people. So, uh, yeah. It's Slim Cutter, man. Stay Fresh MVP. I just want to do a follow up to show y'all what I have for them little chinos, the slim ones. And that's what I was saying. The, uh, the slim. The slim chinos go way better with blazers than the bag gear ones, especially like these custom fit ones, like those brown ones that I have for this. They dope with that slim or the red ones that I got for this or the uh, the blue ones that I got for this. They dope for that. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah, man, when you start getting up there, you know, late 20s, you in your 30s, it's time to start thinking about switching up the flow, my niggas. You can't wear a black hoodie your whole life. So you gotta have you start you gotta have start having stuff in your closet, you know what I'm saying? For you can switch the flow up on them. You feel me? It's slim cutter, man. It's stay fresh MVP. Oh, and by the way, I got I got new Chewy. I got new I got shit, man. I should throw some shit out right now, but I not. I got new Chewy, new polo. I got all kind of new shit. I'm about to start dropping videos on your forehead. 
I'm about to start. I'm about to drop the cutters words of wisdom. So y'all stay tuned. If you new, like and subscribe. Hit my Instagram. Fuck with me. It's Slim Cutter, man. I'm out, my babies. Get your money.